sure this will be the most insightful part of this course because we are going to understand the measurement of our Facebook and Instagram ads campaigns. These two platforms are probably the most important ones for, our, for us as marketers because here we are measuring every single effort in every single stage of the funnel and obviously we are reaching to um, wider audiences than uh, compared what we can do with another platforms. So here I have this template and this template was created thinking about the structure of the marketing campaign. So for example, when you are part or when you are focused on the, uh, on the upper part of the funnel, you're thinking probably on um, reaching more and more audience. But when you are in the middle and when you are in the bottom of the funnel, you're probably thinking about the conversion. So that's what we are going to um, see here. And I'm going to display different metrics to uh, help you understand better what is different, um, what are the different metrics that you need to integrate in a report like this. This template is included with the 14 day trial of our Facebook and Instagram ads connector. So well, here I'm looking at uh, this first page and I'm displaying all the impact metrics and all the efficiency metrics and obviously the effectiveness ones. Here I have only the numbers that are important for us as marketers and us as advertisers. So for example, if you are working on a media agency, this could be a really important report to deliver to your um, team. Also, uh, you will find here uh, different stages of the funnel. In the, first, in the first stage, you will see all the awareness metrics. And here is a complete view of every single metric that is important to track on a different campaign. So here you will see that there is the awareness part of this funnel. And this one is showing me the actions that are more um, relevant to measure in terms of reach and obviously impressions. Here I also have metrics that are important for me as an, as an advertiser because I'm controlling here the frequency of my ads. Here I also have um, some metrics about the amount spent, the impressions and the reach delivered. I also have some other metrics that are important to me going deeper into the specific into every specific campaign. So here, for example, I have um, different campaigns and I also have here the most relevant metrics that help me interpret better the performance of my campaign. So for example, if I'm paying for um, an impressions campaign, probably I will be focused on creating more content related with videos or something and that is a piece of content that is more relevant or more meaningful for our audience. So here is that, um, here's what I'm visualizing in this first uh, part of the funnel. And the other thing is the engagement by platform. So as you can see here, I have both of them because I have a campaign that runs on Facebook, another campaign that is uh, running at the same time on Instagram. So this is a complete visualization of your campaigns in only one dashboard. Here I also have information about the campaigns and here is um, like the same content that we are seeing in our native platform of uh, Facebook ads. So here I wanted to replicate all the metrics and obviously integrate a cool uh, part of the visualization that is um, part of Google Data Studio and this one is the hit maps. I also have here the spend of awareness campaigns and if I go to the next page, I will see all the consideration metrics. And this part, I want to focus more on the, on, on the engagement and how people are getting my message. So it is not the same to reach a lot of people than only creating content to make uh, an action happen. So for example, when you ask someone to go to your website and see this new pair of sneakers that you have in your marketplace. So this uh, Facebook ads funnel template is helping you to display your key metrics of awareness, consideration and conversion. You obviously can keep an eye um, on every single KPI by stage of the marketing funnel 
through this real-time charts uh, you can be able to display the information to share that with your team and obviously improve the Facebook ads performance. This template was created with um, real use cases and inspired by real marketers, which means it can be uh, perfect for your business to visualize metrics such as impressions, clicks, CTR, CPC, amount spent, and many more. So let's take a look to the uh, graphs that are included here in the part of consideration. I have here um, different charts. The first one is the behavior, so in terms of the amount to spend and the most relevant action of the consideration phase, uh, with, which is clicks. I also have here the number of unique clicks. So this one is giving me an idea of how many unique clicks uh, made by a single user are produced with a single campaign. And obviously here I have the click links. The click links are different from the, the clicks because when you click on any part of the, of the content or, the, or the, app, the piece of content that you are seeing in your newsfeed, you probably are clicking to um, someone's name who was tagged or probably a hashtag, or you only click to open the, the picture of you, or you click to um, give us a like. So for example, this is different from the click links. So if my objective is to lead people to our website, probably the main metric that I need to follow or I need to track is this one, the click links. And here the CDR that it is also a really good indicator of performance in terms of consideration campaigns. Let's take a look to the next page and here I'm focused more on analysis of the conversion. So the conversion is different from the consideration phase because here I'm asking for a specific thing that for example could be a purchase or a download. So in this case, if it is like the la latest part of the funnel of this consumer journey, so probably I will take a look more to this uh, specific section of this template. So here, for example, I have the cost uh, per landing view. This is in Colombian pesos. Um, so that's why this is the, a huge amount here. And also uh, I'm visualizing the information about the landing page views. And it depends and it changes between one industry to another. So it is so different to see, for example, a huge brand such as Coca-Cola or as Kellogg and it is so different from a SaaS industry. So you can expect the same um, price to pay the same price for a user who is consuming um, a beverage, like a common one, versus someone who's more specialized in a specific industry. So that's the difference between the price. So probably the recommendation here is you to keep your own benchmarks based on your experience, based on the uh, previous month, based on the previous year, and obviously considering the uh, changes on the algorithm of these platforms. So that was only a hack that I really recommend you to implement and keep in mind every time you're reading data. So probably it will be so different from one industry to another. Here I have almost the same charts and I'm visualizing only this information for the latest or for the, for the very uh, final part of our funnel. If I want to go deeper, um, this page was created for that reason, because we want to see uh, what are our main ads, what are those meaningful interactions that we receive uh, from our audience. Here I also have the cross between two metrics such as impressions and reach. I also have the post engagement. I also have the CTR and many metrics that are integrated here to make me um, read this information faster and uh, get some e some highlights from what I'm seeing here. Here I also have a funnel. So I here uh, visualize the full funnel in different phases of this um, marketing campaign. So here, for example, I have all the impressions, I have the links and I have the landing page views, which um, are the, the main or which is the main uh, metric that I need to track here. And in the last part, in this section, 
this is more um, useful when you are trying to get better information of your audience. So uh, where they live, uh, what is the platform that they are looking at. And this is the last page of this report. Well, I have here information of my audience. What are the devices that they use the most? And obviously how I can understand better how to target my audience in terms of usage of this platform and their device, their gender, their location, their age. So everything that it's important to me to uh, make better decisions around the budget. So here, for example, I have some demographics. Uh, it depends about the, the, the main uh, objective of my brand. So if it is a specialized uh, product, and so I need to track the information of their gender. I also have information of their age. So probably it is um, different from your page because we, uh, our audience probably, they don't have like a date or probably because we are targeting more audiences that are pages of companies than, um, or analysts than a real person uh, themselves. So here I also have information about the, uh, the location of our ads. So here I can see the region. They are more here on Colombian's territory because my target audience will be here. And also I have the information about my spent, the leads, the impressions by, but you might be wondering uh, how ca I can read this information or how can I compare to other devices or let's see. So here I have a filter and what I do is to apply the filter based on the publisher platform or if I want I can change it by device or I can change it by um, by page. So everything depends on the type of uh, or the category of the campaign that I have here. In this case, I'm only using Facebook and Instagram and let's see what happens. So here I also have a number uh, to make, make me understand better how is that distribution or the breakdown between these two platforms. Well, that's been this journey. I really enjoyed teaching you a little bit about how to integrate this data based on the funnel and the marketing funnel and how it is um, important to visualize the right metrics according to your company or according to your campaign objectives.